In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to read the defense in Madden 18. What is up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking out any of my content, I want to encourage you just to watch the entire video all the way through. And then once you get through the video, do me a favor and leave me a comment at the end letting me know what is your name. And then secondly, what is a couple of things that you saw that I can do differently or better on my channel today we're talking about how to read the defense in Madden 18 and it's pretty simple um, the, the basic question that you want to do and this is why I think it's so difficult a lot of people aren't very intentional with the reading the defense oftentimes people are more excited about running their play than they are about um, reading the defense and so what that does in turn is that causes a lot of problems for your offense because you don't have a clear um, definition on what the defense is doing so how can you actually make a proper read and in my opinion this is you know kind of one of the big things that makes really affects people in Madden so my remedy for it here's here's your remedy for it the first thing the most important thing you're going to get out of this entire video is right here whenever you call a play okay whenever you call uh, any play at all any play what you need to do is you need to come out and you need to basically ask yourself the question, what is the defense probably going to do? That's the question. And based on the corner alignment, based on the linebackers alignment, what is the defense probably going to do? So like right here, probably going to be in cover two, more than likely. Okay, probably going to be in cover two. Based on the down and distance, based on everything that we've learned, that's probably what they're going to be. So I know that if they're in cover two, they're going to have a hard time stopping the inside zone so we go no huddle into an inside zone the linebacker gets sucked out and we're able to go because cover two they play pass first there it was actually the shows that it was cover nine not a big deal uh, not a big difference but again that's kind of one of the things and so what you got to do is you got to ask yourself you know what is the offense prob or what is the defense probably going to do uh, and i want to show you a couple things on, on this next possession with me on defense. I want to show you a couple things that I do to help um, to disguise that. And so this is something that you can ask yourself. So one of the critical things that you're going to find is when you're playing against a really good player, um, and, and like I said, a, a really, really good player, they're going to do a lot of similar things every play. So they're going to do a couple things. If you're playing against a good player, they're going to they're gonna come out in the same defensive formation every play. Okay, so that makes it a little bit harder to read because they're going to give you the same look every play. So for me, this is the look I give people every single play. This is a, it's the same look every play. I use this guy right in this area, and that's how we're going to do it. Okay, so they can't really tell if it's man or zone. They can't really tell if it's cover two, cover four. All they can tell is that I can blitz them from the right and I can blitz them from the left based on the linebacker's uh, positioning. So because of that, because I can blitz them in those areas, um, I can't believe you almost caught that. Because I can blitz them in those areas, they now have to, add, uh, they have to, excuse me, they now have to basically plan for that, okay? So that's a big deal because when I can blitz them like that, it changes how they call the game. Now, what that means in turn for you offensively is if someone is coming out and they are, um, and they're running the same the same look every play, then what you've got to do is ask yourself situationally, you know, what are they probably going to call? And it, it does make it a little harder, but it inevitably um, it's, it's still doable because you have to ask yourself, what are they probably going to call? Are they going to call the blitz from the right or the left? You have to really put yourself in the defensive player's shoes. Do they? What is their goal? What are they trying to accomplish? If you can figure out, if you're playing me, everybody knows my goal is to basically hold you hold you to um, field goal as opposed to a touchdown. That's my goal. That's my entire defense right there. If you can if you can figure that out, then what that means is once you figure that out, you know that majority of my calls are going to be designed to play deep to short as opposed to play short to deep. What that means is that means that you can then in turn make your play calls wide receiver screen or something like that that's going to help you this guy likes to call cover cover one and cover three so the backed off corners tells me i can run my verticals play so i motion my guy out 
and the verticals play works uh, works like a charm. Only problem was Alex Smith made me a bad throw. Um, but then again, you're just asking yourself, what are they probably going to do? What are they probably going to do? Oftentimes, that can tell you a lot more. So, anyways, guys, um, before we get into our last little bit, I want to encourage you if you want to learn more about offense in Madden 18, you can check out our premium membership. And this membership, what it is, is it's a year long subscription to my content. And what it basically means is you're going to get six ebooks throughout the course of Madden 18. You're also going to get a one hour video every week that updates you on the things that I'm learning, the things that I'm doing differently. So um, be sure to grab that premium membership. It's in the description. Last thing I want to say about reading defenses. Reading defenses is, is the first part. The biggest thing is your post-snap read. So you have to ask yourself, what are they probably going to do? So like right here, backed off coverage. They're looking at the quarterback. That normally means that they're in zone coverage if they look at the quarterback. Now, I see that they can bring pressure probably off the left side because they look like they're in a blitz off the left. So I'm going to slide protect to the left. He does send pressure off the left. I'm able to hit the verticals play, and uh, we're able to get a good good gain, get into a good position here to potentially try a couple of passes into the into the end zone. Now the question becomes, what are they probably going to do now? You know, I have first and 10 on the 11, 12 seconds left. Second quarter is about to end. What is he probably going to take away? Well, if I was him, I would go two man under. Looks like he's going something similar. So what I'm going to try to do is call this divide will play. That's a man beater to the outside. And he makes that catch. Doesn't get out of bounds, so that sucks. I thought he was going to get out of bounds. Three, two, one. Dang it, we just missed it. That's all right. So anyways, but that's kind of the, the, the process and the, and the thought process for reading defenses. So I want to encourage you to, uh, to, to use that. Again, the basic question you have to start out with is what are they probably going to do? Most people don't ask that question. If you ask that question and actually take five seconds to think about it, you're normally going to be able to figure out what they're doing. You know, they cover three, cover four, cover two, cover one, cover six. Are they blitzing? Are they man? You know, those questions, normally you can answer them. So I just want to encourage you to ask that question. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe. And also, guys, a last reminder, if you're new, be sure to leave me that comment. Let me know what your name is. And number two, what is something that I can do better in the next video that I didn't do in today's video?